appears to be in good condition. So number two, right of spring. Hard back. Andrew Green. This look looks very nice. Let's check the back. No markings. No blemishes. returned was by Robert Morgan, The Road from Cap Creek, and it's a novel. And it's in good condition. Very good condition, I would say. The dust jacket is intact. Looks good. Look at the back. Looks fun. No marks on the dust jacket. There appear to be no marks in the book. I would rate this one at very good condition. So, for number three, we have The Road from Gap Creek. We have one copy. Very good condition. Enter that into the system. Robert Morgan. Card back. One copy. very nice. This was the best-selling author of Gap Creek. The cover is almost in light new condition. No blemishes on the outside of the pages. It is in very good condition, I would say. The cover looks very nice. So for number four, this is Chateau Ella. written by Hilary Norman. The author of the novel. It is 
a hardback one copy very good condition I'm going to enter this into the system as number four This only has one L. I put two. One L H I L. Norman. Chateau. Ella. One copy. Hard back. Very good condition. returned today. The title is Hope. It's by Lynn Deaton or Dayton. Looks like it has a um, family tree. The new Bernard Sampson novel. The name is just Hope. Number very nice and it's very smooth it doesn't even show signs of shelf wear so I'm going to mark this one also has very good condition to enter that into our system number five some wear on the edge 
of some of the pages not all of the pages but there is um, some creasing and slight tearing to some of the pages and there are some smudges here looks like somebody was eating chocolate or something while they were reading and they got some on the pages seven has a flag on it. Okay, this is Dreaming of the Bones by Deborah Crombie. Author of More Not Your Dead. This one appears to have um, sustained minor water damage. It's like, it's like it might have gotten a little bit wet. Slightly. It isn't significant, but it does bear noting. No marks, no blemishes, no turned pages. Oh dear. Okay, here we have a problem. The spine has separated. That is a significant defect. Further evidence of water damage to the pages. There is spine separation and it is affecting the turn of the pages. There is significant shelf wear on the dust jacket itself. A little scuffing right Looks like um, there's some indentations on the back of the dust jacket. Perhaps from um, someone placing a piece of paper on it and drawing on it. There are no pin marks on the dust jacket itself. But the spine separation is of great concern. And it looks like it was previously flagged. To look up that flag number five zero five four six zero two zero five three nine eight seven one. Okay, the spine separation has been noted. It was previously marked as fair condition. I am going to choose to downgrade that to ex. Um, I'm going to downgrade that to poor condition. There is no mention of how far the spine has separated in the previous notes. I find that it has separated approximately 75%. So we have 75%. Dreaming of the bomb. 
by Deborah Crombie. D E B O R A H C R O M B I E. Hardback. One copy for a condition. This one will probably not return to the shelf. been checked back in today is Caleb Carr, uh, the author, The Angel of Darkness. Uh, and this person was also the author of The Alienist. The cover itself appears to have some um, old adhesive, possibly from some stickers on the front. And shelfware. It has lost its shiny surface for the most part. It is not very dull. The spot looks good. The page edges look good. Here's one that was turned down a little bit. Not bad. It's okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna note that. The spine is fully intact. The dust jacket on the back also shows signs of shelfware and an old sticker and a pockmark right there in the cover. But not does not rate it as poor condition or even um, acceptable. I would rate it at um, due to the wear on the dust jacket, I would probably rate this at about um, I want to say fair. I think I will do fair condition because of the residue on the cover. Angel of Darkness, this will be number eight. The Angel of Darkness. This was written by Caleb Carr. C A L E B C A R R. Hardback book, one copy.
to Ella by Hilary Norman. This is also in very good condition. The Road from Gap Creek, which is a novel. This is also in very good condition. Well, the edges look really nice. Very clean. good shape. No rips or tears or even any shelf wear and no blemishes. a little mark there, but that's okay. It's less than an inch, so we don't document that. The back has some shelf wear. We worry less about the shelf wear on the back. We worry a little more if it's significant on the front. usually a pretty consistent front and back. In the first book that was returned to the library today was Andy Hazelton's from Heaven. This one has no dust jacket. It's in good condition. We are not allowed to rate it any higher than good condition if they do not have a dust jacket. So this one will have to remain at good condition. Otherwise I would possibly rate it at very good. But with no dust jacket it's not possible. So I'm going to finalize my information for our books that were submitted today. my report and entry for the library books that were returned today. Thank you for coming to the library. I hope you enjoyed your visit. And I hope to see you